for a long time, but we're going to do a, but haven't done it. So today we're going to do a tour of the house, starting with the front door. Uh, we're going to start explaining that this is kind of a traditional house. So in other words, it means it's old and this is the old style. That's not how houses are made now. Um, but most houses, even newer houses, the front door is metal. Um, I'm not sure why. But yeah, this is one of the old houses, older houses, traditional houses. And the first thing you have to know is that um, you take your shoes off. And you can see there's a... The floor is up high. So you have to step up and take your shoes off and put them here and then enter the house. So we call this the genkang. Um, you leave your shoes here and traditionally you step up. Like this, take your shoes off, come in, turn around, and then you put them like this. That's the traditional way of stepping into a house. But, you know, most people don't do that. Um, then we have uh, kind of a regular floor. This is the shoe box or shoe case, which is pretty traditional in houses, Japanese houses. They'll have them at the genkang, the front entrance. Put your shoes in there, and then put stuff on here. We just got keys, whatever. And this is the front entrance. Next, let's go to the bathroom. So again, um, Japanese houses usually have a single door like this, pretty small, that put, opens opens up to let you into the bathroom area. Um, some houses are different, you know, it all depends. Um, and then we have right here, this is the washlet, the WC or toilet with the sign, so I know where to go. And usually it's pretty small, just like this. Uh, it's separate from the bathtub. We'll go take a look at the bathtub. Um, and then this is the bathtub, and Japanese baths are small-ish but deep. So you sit in there, and you could get a soak all the way up to your neck, but you'd have to sit down, uh, cross-legged kind of. Um, I don't really like this style, um, but I do like the Japanese uh, onsens, which are really big. Those are nice, and usually you have the, the hot water here, you have to turn on mirrors and stuff, pretty typical. Oh, sorry, my dog is following me. And then usually uh, in the bathroom area, most people have uh, their washing machine in here. Um, this is how we got ours set up. We'll turn around, and then this is the vanity. So it's kind of like this. Again, this is pretty traditional st style. Most houses will have this style. Um, next, let's go to the kitchen. Oh, sorry, before we go to the kitchen, one more thing. Um, in the bath, this whole area is uh, like a watering, like safe area. So you wash here, uh, you know, take, take your clothes off outside. Then you walk in, wash yourself. And then you enter the bath, no soap, you don't wash yourself in the bathroom, you only soak. Then you come back out and then you wash again, and that's the traditional style. That's why right here you have a drain on the outside, you do your washing, and there's another drain on the inside when you want to empty the water over there. I uh, forgot to mention that, so we'll put that in. Um, yeah. <laughs>